Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are not going to believe this, but we are still watching now two main systems impact the U.S. at once. Our first one is going to be Winter Storm Shirley that has been battering and bringing several inches of ice to the eastern coast and is still currently affecting the eastern coast. And then back out towards the west coast, we have another system that actually just got named, and that is Tabitha. And this system will possibly bring some snow to some places in the south that have not seen snow in over several years. So this might be, you know, basically a Christmas morning kind of thing for some people in the south so to try and save as much time as possible during this broadcast I'll be doing two parts the first part will feature all the information about winter storm Shirley that is the system that is currently affecting the eastern coast and then as you go to the western coast that is where winter storm Tabitha that will be and I'll tell you all about that in the second part but let's jump right into our main system which is winter storm Shirley as I told you this system has brought several inches of ice to some places in parts of, of uh, Kentucky the Ohio River Valley the mid-Atlantic and possibly even some snow and we're still watching some snowfall okay so basically this is what is currently going on in the atmosphere a big area of low pressure with all that cold air behind it bringing the wintry side and then obviously you have the rainier side that has been affecting the gulf coast and eventually into the carolinas so, so uh, this is basically the uh, the most accurate radar as of 6 10 p.m. Central Time. Um, we're still seeing we were still seeing some ice showers back uh, as you go into eastern Texas, um, central and eastern Texas, and then as you go to extreme eastern Texas, that's where we're going to be finding the rainier side. As far as the severe weather goes, possibly just to the south of a place like Pensacola, Florida, that's where we're seeing some of the heaviest rain. And then possibly as you go into um, central parts of South Carolina, and then as you go throughout the rest of the Carolinas, you're still going to be finding some rain. And then eventually, as you go into places like the Washington DC metro area, that's where you're gonna be finding more of those snow showers. So what alerts are still currently out? Believe it or not, we still do have ice storm warnings issued for a place like uh, just to the north of Nashville, Tennessee. So basically, um, extreme southeastern Missouri extending all the way basically just about to the Kentucky and West Virginia border. We still do currently have uh, ice storm warnings. Um, we still do uh, currently still have some winter storm warnings also in a place like Austin, Texas. And then eventually as you go into places like Roanoke, Virginia, and then basically into western uh, West Virginia, that's where we still currently have winter storm warnings out. So what's the forecast throughout the rest of tonight? Um, we still might have some free Freezing rain throughout western, throughout eastern Texas, but it'll gradually taper off as you go throughout the rest of the night. Um, wildly scattered showers across the whole Gulf Coast, and then eventually into the Carolinas, and then uh, and then gradually as you go in, uh, and then gradually as you get into the Mid Atlantic, that's where we're going to be finding more of the wintry side. Um, now, what's your probability of seeing ice throughout the rest of tonight? We, we we still do have a pretty good chance of seeing at least a tenth of an inch or greater in places like Pine Bluff, all going all the way through Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, going all the way up into Kentucky and possibly even in places like North Carolina. So, you know, places that, you know, have not really seen any winter weather, possibly be seeing some snowflakes as you get into the system. Now, how much snow are we forecasting throughout tomorrow morning? Really not that much, possibly maybe up to, up to an inch or two, maybe a little bit more than that if you're lucky, but you really have to be, you know, in, a, in basically a bullseye in order to get more than an inch or two of rain. And then gradually as you go throughout Wisconsin, the Michigan, possibly seeing maybe up to an inch or two, but really no more than maybe two or three inches. But as I said, if you want to get any more than that, you're really gonna have to be, you know, dead sen dead central in a you know line of storms to get more than that. And then as you advance into tomorrow, some of the winter reaction has started to taper off, um, leaving most areas with just scattered showers. And now we're starting to see our next system, you know, finally start to get into action. Winter Storm Tabitha, here's a better look at it. Here's Winter Storm Shirley on the eastern coast. And then here's our next system, Winter Storm Tabitha, that will possibly bring some, you know, that will possibly bring, you know, some, you know, snow chances for some people in the south that have not seen snow in a very long time. So kind of, you know, as I said, a Christmas morning type of thing, you know, wake up in the morning, see all the, you know, see some, you know, snowflakes falling in the south i would honestly love that so this is the end of part one and the next part i will bring you all up to date on our brand new storm winter storm tabitha all right everybody welcome to part two of my broadcast and the last part i showed you all about our main system winter storm shirley that has been battering the eastern coast and possibly brought several inches of ice to some places in the Ohio River Valley. Well, now let's change actions. Let's go back out towards the west and we find our next system, Winter Storm Tabitha, and this system actually just got named today. So very new to all of us meteorologists. And the big in the big picture with this with the uh, with this system will be the chance of possibly bring, bringing some snow to places in the in the south that have not seen snow in a very long time. So kind of like you know a Christmas morning type of thing. So here's the, basically the setup in the atmosphere. Um, by get, by the time we get into the weekend, then and then eventually as we get into the early parts of next. Week, 
week. This will be our this will this will this is where our 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 main area of low pressure will be. Now the thing that we we'll really have to be watching with as this storm eventually tracks east is the track. It is very it is very uncertain at this point. Will it, will it go more towards the east and affect the Carolinas? Will it go back down towards the west and affect places like northern Georgia, northern Alabama, and then eventually into places like Kentucky and Tennessee? Well, that is just something that we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on as you get into um, next week. So here are the current list. Believe it or not, we do uh, already have alerts out. The National Weather Service has, you know, been, you know, has felt confident enough to issue these alerts. So going from Austin, Texas, all the way to uh, to a uh, north place like Oklahoma City, we already have some winter storm watches out. So definitely be, you know, on alert if you're in these areas for possibly some wintry weather. So let's forecast now to Sunday. Widespread snow showers throughout the whole entire southern plains, back out towards the east, possibly getting into some of that ice action. Uh, you know, places that you know just saw with, uh, you know, with Shirley now getting back into that action with with uh, Tabitha. So places like Jacksonville, Mississippi, just to the east of a place like Houston, Texas, maybe just to the north of a place like San Antonio, possibly getting in some of that wintry weather. Now, as we get into the weekend, once again, this track is very uncertain as we get into Monday and Tuesday, but will there be enough cold air? You know, because we will have a very strong area of high pressure that will bring a lot of cold air down from Canada. So, obviously, if you mix cold air with precipitation, bam, you got snow. So, will there be enough cold air by the time this, you know, by the time this area of low pressure is here to make some snow in the atmosphere and bring, you know, bring some of that snow to places in the south that have not really seen any snow throughout, you know, this, this basically this whole entire winter. So, now let's forecast and now, now let's fast forward into Monday a wide swath of you know very you know long area possibly of some mixing conditions back out towards the west that's where you're gonna be finding the snowier side back out towards the east that's gonna be the rainier side possibly heavy at times in a place like Atlanta possibly Birmingham Alabama and then eventually as you get into a place like New Orleans on um, Louisiana so basically a you know mess all across the board for Monday and then as you advance into Tuesday some of the action back out towards the west starts to taper down we're still dealing with a lot of the actions you know now we're starting to deal with now we're starting to deal with even more snow as you get back into the uh, into the northeastern region, so Washington D.C. will be in that mix, Charleston, South Carolina, um, Columbia, South Carolina, in that rain, and then eventually as you get into places like Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, New York City, Burlington, Vermont, Providence, Rhode Island, Boston, Massachusetts, possibly even Worcester, Massachusetts, getting into some of that snow. Now, how much snow are we talking throughout Saturday from Saturday night all the way into Monday across the western part? Um, mostly, maybe around maybe five to eight inches in places that are lucky. Um, a big swath of around one to uh, around one to two, but as you get into places like Amarillo, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Albuquerque, New Mexico, possibly even into El Paso, Texas. That's where you can possibly be seeing some of those high numbers. And just a quick look at the the names we've already gone through. We we're at, we're at tab of the now. So we've gone through 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20. So we're already at a 20th name storm of the season and we're only halfway through winter. We could possibly go through this whole list, but you know, just like hurricane season last year. So a very active, you know, season where you can possibly be watching our next system come into late next week and that will be obviously named Yuri. So a lot going going on just make sure that you're staying tuned to me and my YouTube channel for the latest updates and as and speaking of latest updates I'll be posting another video tomorrow on Shirley as everything starts to taper down and eventually as Tabitha begins to track east and um, what time will that be uploaded probably sometime tomorrow afternoon maybe you know between anywhere from 4 to 8 o'clock so just be sure that you're checking into both that my YouTube channel and my website for more details so that is all I have for you all tonight thank you all so much for watching I hope you all have a great rest of your evening